What is hollow position and where do we need it to be today? All right. Can you lay on your back? She's been doing this a while. Hands overhead. Just stretch up tall. All right. We're going to watch the lower back flatten out. The abs come on. The glutes tighten up. She's going to hit a hollow. Good. I want her to stretch her arms long and squeeze and hold. Take a break. All right. So we all know position. We've arrived at position, I think, as, as a community. We understand hollow. Gymnastics is about moving quickly to position. And this is what we're going to take to the bar muscle up. So she's going to lay flat on her back, arms overhead. And I call this a hollow snap. She's going to snap. One, two, three, hollow. Relax. Hollow. Relax. Hollow. Relax. All right. You guys got me? Everybody's got hollow position, right? Spread out a little bit. Don't smell any armpits. Hollow. Relax. Hollow. Relax. Hollow. Hold it. Point your toes. Squeeze your heels together. You'll feel your, your glutes and your adductors kick in. Point your toes. Yeah, there you go. Take a break. Awesome. What's the opposite of our hollow position? Dun, 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 dun. Superman. What, who Superman looks like this? Right? Bent legs, chest up, okay? We're getting work done. Right now, we're going to dial in position. So take a break for a sec. You don't need to work that hard, okay? <laughs> Arms up. There you go. Keep that head neutral. Where, what are you guys pulling and lifting with in this position? Going to tight arch. Hips and shoulders, right? Head's going to remain neutral. We're going to try not to break at the knee. Squeeze the, the heels together. Point the toes again. Ready? Up. Pretty good. We, we know we got a little tight shoulders here. That's all right. Take a break. Okay? This is the biggest piece where we see breakage in technique and form with gymnastic movement right now in CrossFit. Okay? Um, if you can use your butt, if you can get your glutes on in a lot of these movements, you're going to have a lot easier time moving through space. What she's going to do is snap the hollow. Snap the hollow. Beautiful. There's the bar. There's the head position. Keep your head somewhat neutral, darling. Abs on. Glutes on. Take a break. Good. Snap the hollow. Take a break. Snap the hollow. Coordination, connected, position, ideal. Okay? Same thing here. Lift with your shoulders and your hips, darling. End up. Take a break, okay? She's got a pretty flexible back, but we don't see any breakage in the line, right? This is what we want to dial in. Hollow arch, or arch up, take a break. Arch up one more time, squeeze and hold. All right, awesome. We may take a wider grip on the bar. We want to maintain a solid grip on the bar and keep our arms straight throughout this movement. We know two pieces now. For dead hang position, all right, how to get a bar muscle up. We're going to initiate our hollow open tap, our gymnastic kipping tap, okay, our bowing, okay, there's a million different ways to talk about this piece. We're going to pull to hollow, pull to arch, generate shoulder drive. Our next frame by frame piece, I always talk about position to position protocol. Visual cue of the bar. Can you see the bar? Have my shoulders risen enough to where I can see the bar, okay? To quote one of my favorite Olympic lifting coaches, when the, when the arms bend, the power ends. This is, in effect, if you can pull with straight arms, you're basically doing a gymnastic kip on the bar. Easy, right? Okay? Good. All right, we see the extended position of the front, the tight arch, the close of the shoulder, the squeeze of the butt, and the shoulders begin to rise, okay? We're going to start relax. She's going to start laying on her back. She's going to hit that hollow extended piece. And then where, where do you go from there? Once you can see the bar, what happens? We're going to pull, right? And if we can pull with straight arms, we're going to get the, the, the bar close to the hips. Okay? But what is the shape and position we're, we're going to hit? Well, we've got to squeeze and activate those glutes to get up. So lay on your, lay on your back. Get hollow. All right. From here, she's going to pull the bar to her hips, right? and she's going to fire her hips up. You guys see that? Okay. So there's the process. And whether you pull with straight arms or not, the bar has got to pass minimally. And we know this from the rings, right? Whether you're going to make a muscle up or not. It's going to pass below the chest plate. 
here to get over the bar. That's going to do everything right. His thumbs are on the bar. Nice pull. And, the, and you guys see the two shapes, right? It's very quick, the hip transfer. And yes, not a gymnast. Okay, converted football player to gymnast. <laughs> okay? So, per, not, not perfect form, that's okay, right? The shortest distance between two points is what we're looking for, the least wear and tear on the hands. Okay? So a giant swing is not going to want what we want. So the biggest, obviously the biggest pieces here uh, is that nice tight open. Make sure those glutes are on it. The open part of that, that close. When we close and you see the bar, we're going to go hips to the bar. If you can get hips to the bar, you can actually almost do it with straight arms. Okay? Once the hips are to the bar, we close the angle, shoulder over the bar, and then you're ready to go. Biggest thing is, is don't throw the head. Great. Right? Keep it neutral. You probably have a little more aggressive pull with one arm over the other. So your, your either left or right shoulder is, is rising a little bit higher. So you're having a little easier time getting one shoulder over than the other. Okay. Lindsay was doing that before. Focus on the pieces at the bottom, like we were doing in, in the clinic today. And, and, and know that that open piece is, that's, that's so much. is, is, is the gas pedal right there. She's got it down, right? This is almost a gymnastic hip at this point. But watch how fast her hips rise to the bar. See that? Yeah. Okay. So we've got open. Hopefully this thing doesn't come off of me. We've got a nice big tight open. When she closes and she closes fast, the shoulders rise. Like I tell everybody, if you can see the bar, tight hips to the bar, shoulders over. And that piece, those two elements, that tight arch, and that close of the shoulder and hip, okay, happens in an instant. And that's that second kip you're seeing at the bar. A little longer, lat activate, see the bar, and then just go both shoulders over the bar. Quick. Big long pull. There you go. There you go. That was a little cleaner. Long pull. There you go. <laughs> yeah. I see it. So we're breaking down. We're breaking down in the lower part of, part of your body. For you, if I if I was going to drill this to death with you, I work on position. So I'd be knocking out tight arches and hollows, throwing you on the bar, working on that swing. The other thing I would I would do. You got nice big broad shoulders and a lot of strength. I take a little wider grip on the bar. Okay. Okay. That shortens the distance that you need to cover. All right. If that makes sense to you. Yeah. 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 Cool, thank you. All right, man. Right. When you're saying pull a little longer, this I'm is pulling too early. Like you can yeah. get over the bar too early. Right. Well, like when now. we went over, right? If you pull early and your arms bend, you can still make it, right? But if we can if we can get the bar here, it's over already, yeah. right? Like this character, right? <laughs> Asia Barto, Batman. <laughs> Fast, his hips get to the bar. You watch this little kit, this little hiccup right here. Boom. That's what I'm talking about, okay? Yeah. Tight arch, quick and close, okay? The young lady back there, get her, get her hips to the bar really quick, right? Yeah. Okay, so from here, if we can get long and open, things start to get really easy, okay? Now, that's a huge, big swing. It looks like such an easier movement, though. But what am I not doing? I'm not bleeding all over the place and kicking up here, am I? Open, big, long pull, lats on. And see the bar. That was clean. One more time. Big pull. Yeah. And correct, right? Good. We got it now. I want you to watch Chad's, uh, just his second kip, this transitional piece. We talk about tight arch to close. Watch this second piece right there. Do one more. Open, open, and it's up. Whack. Okay. My work is done here. <laughs> yeah, so that's. But it does feel more efficient if you get to here and can just go. Whoop. Yeah. We're going to be opening and closing from here to here.